This week's unexpected snowfall has thrown us a curveball. Doesn't need to be exactly perfect. I'm not going to stress about it. Yeah, I mean, how much snow you guys got over there? With two house builds hanging in the balance, we quickly switched directions to ensure we stay on track with projects both here and at the Trout Pond House. Let's do our 60 feet. New projects and old projects are coming together, leaving us feeling excited and surprisingly relaxed about where our future stands. Can you just drop the pipe off? Yeah. Good work. This is a whole new chapter for us. It only makes sense to tie into the electrical grid. We woke up to snow this morning. <laughs> Completely not expecting that. Um, it's our fault because we, we haven't been checking the weather. We basically checked it a few days ago and we're like, oh great, you know, the weather is going to be up into the 50s for the next two weeks. There is going to be one cold day, but we didn't bother to actually go through and look at that cold day and see what that entailed and apparently entailed snow. It happened. So the weather is throwing a little bit of a wrench into our plans. Um, <laughs> we thought that we were going to be completely finishing up painting the waterproofing membrane onto the cement board and also getting the stone up. However, it's too cold. <laughs> we, we can't do it. It's just not possible. So instead... We're building doors. Yeah, which is pretty exciting because that means this is going to be, get completely closed up. Yes. And, um, I think it's just going to look really nice because I, I love the way that these doors look inside the house. They're going to look nice and they're going to be movable. So we can actually pull it out this way, get that stone up. And then once that stone's up, slide it back this way and do all this stuff. So we won't be blocking ourselves by putting this door up. Yeah. The door should be, uh, I'm making five foot too wide. And it's going to go to the end, but it's going to stick out a little bit. So the door will slide open. It'll stop roughly right here. That's gonna be enough for a four wheeler to come through here, a few dirt bikes and whatnot. Come here, go. I should have called it the baby. Would I say I've known on your color ID? Maybe my number's too safe. Now I'm standing here, hungry, and I'm ready for it. Three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be 60 inches total. I cut so let me tell you I'm ready. Got that closed up. Yeah, it keeps it opening up down here though. So he's, he's good in the center. He's good and solid. Whatever, dude. It's going to be for a gate that closes this. It doesn't need to be exactly perfect. I'm not going to stress about it. It's okay. So are you going to cut this off? Yeah. So this whole groove is going to get, get cut off. Yeah, I'm going to cut the tongue off on the other side too.
How's it fit? It'll fit. It should fit. Do you want an X, you said, or do you want it straight across? Oh, I don't care, honestly. I mean, I think straight across. It. An X might be a little much. I thought you wanted an X the entire time. I'm glad you don't want an X. I didn't want an X. Yeah. So, I'm... one across. We'll liquid nails that thing. Nailed it. This side's done. We flip over. And uh, we got to go, gotta go to chop pot. So. When I was 15, my mom unexpectedly passed away, and I saw firsthand how having life insurance can help a family through such a tough time. It's a reminder to us why having life insurance is so important. Life insurance could give you peace of mind that if something happens to you, your loved ones have the financial cushion to continue paying for things like rent, mortgage payments, loans, and other everyday expenses. If someone in your life relies on your financial support, you need life insurance. Typically, life insurance gets more expensive as you get older, so be smart. Lock in a policy sooner rather than later. Policy Genius never sells your information to other companies, and they do not add any extra hidden fees. It's your one stop shop for finding and buying the insurance you need, and getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash WWOG and answer a few questions about yourself. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find the lowest price and coverage you need. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and ensure you apply for the right policy. They will even even handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to offer unbiased advice and help guide you through the shopping and buying process. Head to policygenius.com slash WWOG to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. So Josh is on the phone right now with the guys. I got sawdust all on here from the excavation company. They're overworking at the Trout Pond property and he's trying to figure out exactly what their schedule is so that we can be ready with what they need when they need it. Hey, Justin. Hey, Josh. Hey, man. Um, so you thinking maybe Friday? Um, you're gonna be out there thinking get that trench dug on Friday? For the electric? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how much snow you guys got over there? We got about, uh, it's starting to melt a little bit. We got about two, two and a half inches probably. I mean, we could probably get out there and dig the trench tomorrow or Wednesday. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Um, well, if you, if you get that um, trench dug, I, I can, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick that pipe up real quick. And I can, I can have it, I can have it tomorrow morning. So we got to go to New York, Virginia tomorrow to get a bunch of three inch pipe because they're going to open that trench up for us. We need to get it backfilled. Did you tell them we're going on grid yet? No. No? You can tell them though. We're going on grid, guys. 100% on grid. Here and there. No, I'm joking. Not here. We're staying off grid here, but that house is going to be a grid tied system. Um, the reason why we're doing that is we don't want to have to worry about batteries when people are staying there or issues with people staying there and the batteries not being properly charged and lights turning out. So we're going to do a grid tied system so that people can come from wherever and stay in our house with a uh, net zero house. Our plans for a net zero Airbnb went hand in hand with our vision for a treehouse style home. In order to make this all work out seamlessly, we needed to figure out what the house would draw, what components we would need, and make the order so everything would be here on hand for when it's time to install. You guys may remember that shipment of equipment we got. This time though, it's not for our house. Yes, that's for this Airbnb. It's for a new project and until we get started on that, the panels are gonna need to be stored in the barn just to ensure that they are Leon proof. <laughs> As you know, we've been juggling multiple projects for quite some time now. So to ensure we're all on the same page, let me give you the lowdown on how this is all going to happen. We are continuing to work on finishing phase one of the A-frame build. This includes the stone around the foundation and doors for the entryway under the deck, lights and soffit on the front porch and landscaping. At the same time, we will be pushing the trout pond build forward while also tackling farm projects on our property at home, such as finishing the fence around the pasture and renovating the barn. Behind the scenes, Josh and I will be finalizing house plans for the bedroom wing of the house, or what we will eventually call phase two of our home build. This will all lead us into late spring 2022, where we will be pouring the foundation for phase two of our house build. But for the rest of this evening, we need to focus on what the Trout Pond house build needs. It only makes sense to tie it into the grid because the power is right there behind me. 
Uh, the house is right there on the hill. It's probably 300 feet away, but that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna measure, see how much pipe I need to get. Um, it's gonna be a solar grid tied house. So we're still gonna be on solar. Our plan is to have a net zero house. So it's gonna produce as much as it consumes in one year. Just hold it right here, girl. You're good to go. Just hold it. It's fine. That's 260 feet. So transformer is going to sit right here. We're going to come out of there. We'll come up, get right on the driveway. We'll come on up the pipe, turn in, and come on into the house. The location of the solar array is going to be near the driveway and along the road frontage. They're going to be south facing and away from all the trees. So that's going to, of course, maximize the amount of sun they're able to get. So it looks like Miss Utility already came here and marked everything. So that's good for us. You all can see the excavator behind me. There's a big hump right here. They already started cutting the driveway in, but haven't touched anything right here because they weren't sure where the electric line and also the communication line was coming through. But now that we know that where they're at on the road, we're good when they come back here to start cutting this driveway in right here and pulling all this out. Hi, can I have a word of a will call for tomorrow, please? Yeah, I need 300 feet of three inch PVC. Schedule 40. 300 feet of two inch PVC. We have four three inch PVC couplings. Yeah, four of them. One three inch end bell. Okay, two two inch PVC 90s. And four two inch PVC couplings. That's it. We've got a two hour drive ahead of us this morning so that we can go pick up some pipe and be all ready, possibly get it dropped off at the property also. Thank you. Get your receipt for you. Three inch PVC binding? Yep, four three inch PVC couplings. Three inch couplings? Yep. Okay. Uh, one three inch 45 PVC. I'd add a couple things on that list. And the guy's going to, all you got to do is pick your vehicle around the back. Around the back, that's going to look perfect. Even better. living as far out from the city as we do is that we have to travel quite far to get materials and we need materials obviously all the time so <laughs> it's a little bit of traveling quite often. Oh it's good. Good to, good to go. Do you want to run inside there real quick and see they have a, a big chandelier for outdoor? Yes why not? For the porch over here. of options but we were actually able to make a decision and settle on it pretty fast all right so this will ship directly for, uh, from the factory to you guys so i'm sending the order over today mm -hmm. if we're lucky we probably get in by the end of the week cool we'll beginning some next week the yep. latest. looks like we're going to finish that front porch a little faster than we thought yeah that was good ready to go home yeah hey carter we're on our way home yeah, we'll be there in 
about two hours or so. How'd farm chores go? Oh, they went good. I gave the calf and the mama some ate water. I fed him the chicken. You're breaking up a little bit. You you got to go to that part of our house where we get a cell phone signal. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, and the front windows? Yeah, the front windows, you should be able to get cell phone service. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah I can hear you perfectly fine. Okay, so good. So you you got the, the cows taken care of, and did you check the pig's water? Yep, I already did their water and everything. Perfect. Okay, when, when I get home, I'll help you uh, move the cows up into the pasture, okay? Here we go, girl. You got him, Carter? Yeah. It's all snow on the ground today, girl. We got hay in there, though. That's it guys, we got a door.